Florian, set to enter the world famous octagon once again. Kenny Florian has exceptional jiu-jitsu. He is a black belt and has won many prestigious grappling competitions. He also has some of the most vicious elbow strikes in the sport. If he gets on top of you, there's a good chance he's gonna cut you open. Kenny Florian, fired up and ready to go. Swanson making his way to the world famous octagon. Cub Swanson trains out of Greg Jackson's camp and he is an animal on the ground. He's a black belt in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and does extremely well when competing in pure grappling competitions. He's extremely crafty on the mat and can end this fight quickly if he spots an opening. Cub Swanson ready to throw down and put on a show. Our tale of the tape is brought to you by Boost Mobile. We are now set for the official introductions, and with that, here is Bruce Buffer. And now, five rounds for the UFC Featherweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist. He stands five feet, 10 inches tall. Weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Boston, Massachusetts, Kenny and Flo Warrior. And now, fighting out of the red corner, this man is a mixed martial artist. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Palm Springs, California. Cubs Watson! And when the action begins, our referee in charge of this contest is Josh Rosenthal. All right, gentlemen, you've been given your instructions. I expect a clean fight. If they like commands all times, defend yourselves all times. Touch gloves, go back, let's do this. Mike Goldberg alongside my partner Joe Rogan. Round one is about to begin. Gentlemen, ready? Kenny Florian, ready? Cup Swanson. And here we go. Let's one fight. thing a lot of fans don't know is that Kenny Florian actually impressed Dana White when he lost to Drew Fickett. And that loss, because he fought so hard in that fight, actually is what earned him his spot on the original Ultimate Fighter. Yeah, Drew Fickett had a wealth of experience coming into that fight, many more fights than Kenny Florian had, and he was much larger than Kenny Florian. And um, he, Dana, went to see Drew Fickett. And in seeing Drew Fickett fight, he, he's got his back. Moves into full mount. Awesome control from the top. Half guard. Joe, he's going to get back up to his feet. Look at how he's utilizing the cage. Of and mount again. Oh, he gets reversed. Pushing his opponent away. He lets him up. Come on, Barry. One, two. Three outside hard. Nice double leg. The cage right there worked against the takedown attempt. Good takedown. He's in the guard now. Nice right hand. And back to full guard. Now looking for the takedown. He wants the double. Well over two minutes remains in round number one. Boom. And he's down. Great job on the reversal. Now into side control. Posture's up. Side control. Oh! Half guard. Oh, he got reversed. Oh! Under 90 seconds remains in round one. Full guard here. Reversal. Very nice. Oh, reversal. Just about one minute remains in the first round. Now he flips him over into side control. And into full mount. Oh, he got reversed. He is 
taking some brutal ground and pound. Oh, he gets reversed. Posture's up. Side control. Wow, that right hand. And that's the end of round one. The crowd is showing its disappointment in that performance, Joe. I love the intricacies of the ground game, but neither guy seemed willing to take a chance when it went there, which makes for a very stale, very unexciting matchup. Legs are tired from trying to hold that big four. Okay, push the pace. Now, on the ground, you can catch him all day long in that time and that armor. You can catch him all day long, okay? Let's check out some of the action from that round, Mike. This was just an unbelievable counter right here. This is flawless timing. Right here we see that tremendous counter shot land. He gets that back, you fight that two on one. If he gets that body lock, you gotta fight it off. The beautiful Ariani gets us set for round number two. Gentlemen, ready? Ready? We start round two. Fight. This fight's scheduled for five. Five-minute rounds. Good sprawl. Take your time. Nice and relax. Outstanding takedowns. Postures up. Great reversal into the guard. Oh, he's got a triangle. That's perfect position, Mike. He's got the arm across the neck. He's pulling tight. He's adjusting even tighter. Oh, it's over. Triangle choke. Victory tonight. We have a new UFC featherweight champion. Perfectly executed triangle choke. As soon as he locks on this triangle, he gets that arm across the neck. And watch him adjust. And that just makes it even tighter. Flattens him out and just cranks down with those legs and the hands pulling down on the head. Just perfect technique. The veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Josh Rosenthal has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 11 seconds of the second round. Declaring the winner by tap out due to a triangle choke. And now, the new UFC featherweight champion of the world, Teddy and Mo Kenny can flow Florian with the victory.